Lucas Media. So we got some news coming out of hip hop. Grammy Award winning producer Jermaine Dupri said that he bumped into an independent artist at Lennox Mall down here in Atlanta. The independent rapper had ten thousand dollars on him and wanted Jermaine Dupri to listen to his music. And Jermaine Dupri said that after the conversation, he ended up being effed up from it. This is what Jermaine Dupri had to write, quote, I just met a new rapper at Lennox and he asked what he had to do to get besides people like myself. He offered me 10K to listen to his music. And right then and there, I knew he wasn't from Atlanta. Cause you know, in Atlanta, it didn't got kind of wild down here. I asked him where he was from and he said, Alabama. I said, you got to turn your city up he said in these small little town they will delete you if you look like we look and that kind of f me up now i'm gonna give my honest opinion about this i'm not surprised at all and at this point I, I don't really know why would anybody be surprised for real bro because let's just keep it real i would say for at least the last 40 years we have been programmed to delete each other on a wide scale with a megaphone yes we always had our problems i'm not saying that but we are the only culture where the music is promoted to self-delete you already know how the music go shoot a ninja kill a ninja we're gonna slide on some ninjas today you know my i'm smoking on my dead ops come on now this is the music and this is the music that's being pushed out so yeah you're gonna get deleted when they see you doing something like that because you've been programmed to have all this hate in you all this hate to where even when you even look at a brother instinctively you almost try to look at him as, as the enemy and you see it like crime has always been around but the volume of crime has been going up and i keep saying this growing up in the 80s and 90s and early 2000s you will fight you shake up and you move on but now this generation they not even fight no more they pulling out guns in middle school in high school some of y'all nephews out here 12 years old out here with, with weapons on them you know and this is one of the main reasons you know it, it was cool back in the day right to listen to that type of music gangster gangster rap as when it came out in the, the late 80s but look at the influence that is brought on people and you know back in the day some people could tell the difference between fiction and reality right even the wild part is some of the people who spit the most that was spitting the hardest bars went to college but you would never know that unless you know you did your research on it but it's sad you know it's sad and we also live in a crab in a barrel mentality boosie said this a long time ago on vlad on vlad it like the envy is real you know you come up you out there you shine in your small town it don't matter what town you from a lot of times yeah people your boys people down with you until you get successful then people want to know how they can take from you and honestly you ain't even gotta be famous for that you could just you could just be shining you know you get a new tv a new car the people watching you and a lot of times it'd be the people that be closest to you will stab you in your back you see it all the time this is why a lot of times people get killed in their own cities because it be people that they know and they jealous because how did they make it and i didn't make it you know we went to school together how come how come he's shining better than me and i'll say it again you know the, the your people who hate your biggest haters are the ones that's closest to you and it's just it's a weird crab in a barrel mentality that we have you know as black people that we we got to come out of it i'm sorry i got to keep it real on here i'm sorry you know and this is a this is a an, another representation of our chickens that have come home to roost and you know the older guys who promoted a lot of this and i'm not just saying a jermaine dupree but it's a lot of older veterans that was promoting that music this is the fruits of their labor you know and it's only getting worse and worse and a lot of times people who made that kind of music is hating on this generation, but y'all started it. Y'all started it. And when you go from gangster rap to drug dealers, at some point it's going to be the drug users. And this is what you're seeing now, where you got the, some of the most popular artists are bragging about being on drugs, addicted to drugs. You can't get off of it. So guess what? Now, your kids in elementary school, your kids in middle school, your kids in high school, and what they do, all they hear is music talking about popping pills. And you know we got fentanyl out here, which is crazy. I know people that didn't pass away from it. Y'all probably know people that didn't pass away from it. But because it's programmed in your mind, it's hard to get it out. And guess what? Back in the day, you know, for my, my younger subscribers, back in the day, you was clowned on for taking drugs. The most people would do was smoke weed and drink. Crystal, Moet, all of that. But that was it. But guess what? Now you hear is is you know Papa Molly and all of this and you know you shouldn't nobody should be surprised by this by now honestly so you know JD I, I'm I feel you but at the same time you shouldn't be surprised by none of this because this is what happened and it's only gonna get worse and worse and some of y'all favorite artists I want to go in right now look at them look this is the representation of what they think that y'all like I just want to give my quick thoughts about it again y'all let me know if I'm tripping in the comments am I old am I just out out of touch because I mean I just I, 
I can't get with none of this. And then I don't understand why people are surprised based on what's been going on the last 40 years. But y'all let me know if I'm tripping in the comments.